Hello, Captain. Thanks for making your way all the way out there. Your work on Balmora was superb. The military expenditure committee has even stopped harassing me about my crazy privateer idea. And let me apologize up front. Hoth is hardly one of the galaxy's top vacation spots. Just drop the whole thing in a big Corellian whiskey and it's fine. I'll twist to that. Here are the facts. Until a few years ago, Hoth was a frozen wasteland with zero habitation except the occasional pirate ship. Which would still be the case if we hadn't lost our most advanced secret fleet in the ambush above it. With the number of ships that went down, we and the Imperials are both stuck here, battling it out to claim this rotten ice lick. I guess someone in the Republic can't keep a secret. We never found the leak. But that's not the most embarrassing part. Right now, neither the Republic nor the Empire claims Hoth's airspace. We were driven out by some witless pirates called the White Maw. Somehow these outlaws have acquired such a supremely advanced cloaking technology that they can outmaneuver both the Republic and the Empire. So you want me to steal the cloaker from them? Beg, buy, borrow, steal. We're not picky. This cloaking device, whatever it is, makes their ships basically invisible to instruments. We can't see them coming. We can't stop them, and neither can the Empire. We need this device, and we need you to get it for us. You're not gonna sweeten the pot? All we want is the tech. Anything else you find? Make your own plans how to dispose of it. When you get planet side, speak to Major Painan. He'll be your point of contact and tell you anything else you need to know. You wanna go to Hoth? Seriously? <laughs> the day just keeps getting stranger. The shuttle is prepped and ready. We're just waiting for clearance from the station controller to launch. This is a frozen rock on the edge of the galaxy. How much traffic can there be? Shh, don't make him mad. He'll detect an instrument malfunction or something, and they'll tie up my shuttle all day. There was more traffic when we started the salvage operations, but nobody's come back up in a while. Ships are probably frozen to the ground. Really? You ought to try to savor this delay. Every minute you're not freezing to death is a good one. This is starting to sound less and less like a good idea. There's a reason I spend most of my time up here instead of on the planet. Before I forget, you'll need this cold weather equipment. If you're lucky, you won't use it much. Everything checks out. You are cleared for launch. You should check in with the commander at Auric Base when we land. He'll be able to tell you a lot more about Hoth. I'm looking for Major Pannon. What are you saying? I, I wasn't... I mean... You startled me. Uh, I am Master Langus Duno, Jedi advisor to the Republic forces. I uh, uh, assume you're from off-world, seeking the poor late Major Panin. The late Major Panin? Yep, blown to jelly. I uh, hope you weren't close. Poor Major Painin died in an Imperial strike on the base a few days ago. Killed instantly. Ah, here are his notes. Senator Dodonna's privateer, right? Infiltrating the White Maw. It won't be easy to earn their trust. So long as they're afraid, I think they'll welcome me just fine. You can't just take them on. These are some organized and truly nasty sons of huts. I, I, I mean, my child. Uh, the force is dark around these pirates. They have great anger. Serious, serious anger. Do you understand? You have to get at them from the inside. That means showing no loyalty to the Republic and having something they want. Don't be away. I just need to make it to the table. Last week, White Maw pirates tried to grab a cache of ship-to-ship -ship sensors. If you could steal those, with the Republic's full permission, of course, they'd make a perfect goodwill offering. The Republic's permission, huh? You gonna make sure of that? The droids guarding the cache will have to defend it to be convincing, but I'll inform the lieutenant in charge. I bet you were that kid at the Jedi Academy who short-sheeted the Master's bed. Twenty hours of meditation on a cold rock every blasted time. I've got the coordinates here. The cache is inside a cave not too far away.
I can't tell you how happy I am to see just about anyone who's not in an Imperial uniform these days. Welcome to Auric Base, what's left of it. I'm Lieutenant Laskin. Did Republic Command send you? Did they get my distress signal? I don't think your signal got through. The station seemed pretty calm. You don't know? If you're not here to answer my distress call, I, I don't know what we're going to do. We can't hold out much longer. An explosion in one of the speeder hangars knocked out main power. Within seconds, we were under heavy Imperial fire. Our shields haven't switched to auxiliary power yet. Who's the big shot around here? As the most senior officer left, I've been trying to contact Republic Command. I don't know what to do here. We still have men in the field on a critical mission. Or we did when we were attacked, anyway. Between the Imperials and the cold. I don't have enough people for a search party. Please, if you could head out there. You're their only chance. Just tell me where the action is. They were headed out to check the long-range sensors. With those running again, we'd have some warning before another attack hit. If you reach them, give them these. Fresh weapons and supplies. Then they might make it back. And thank you. Am I seeing things? I didn't think there was anyone else left alive on this planet. What's the word from Auric Base? It's nothing on the comm but static. I was starting to think they pulled out and left us. Auric Base is in bad shape. They took heavy casualties and they need all the help they can get. See? I told you to stop being so negative. They didn't leave us. They're just nearly all dead. Right. You're a model of optimism. What about our mission? We can't leave the sensors like this. I thought you'd be anxious to get back to the base. Did I miss something? We came out here to check the long-range sensors. They were damaged in the attack, but they're easily fixable. If you can get to them. Which we obviously couldn't. Without the sensors, Auric Base is blind. They won't have any warning the Empire is coming. If you can reach the arrays, you can bring them back online. There are a lot of Imperials in the area, though. We'd better get moving if we're not gonna freeze to death. See you back at the base. picture.
Here's more where this came from. Weapons on the floor! Hands where I can see them! Back up to the wall. Slowly. I'm supposed to be here, so let's chat about why you disagree. You've got it all wrong. The captain's a genuine Republic privateer. Are you the one Major Pannon was expecting? 
from the Lady Senator? Then... Nope. I still can't guess why you'd be doing this. The sensors are for an important trade. Then you should have requisitioned them. You just destroyed some of our last functioning droids. It was all the Jedi's idea. That sounds really weird when I say it out loud. Jedi? You mean Padawan Guiana? She was with Major Panin during the attack. Died in the same blast. He duped us. What's the world coming to when you can't trust just anyone in a brown robe? Look, take these sensors. I just need you to fill out an incident report and... Never mind. We'll talk later. That ought to fix you. Thank you. You made it! Welcome back! With the long-range sensors working again, it's starting to look like we might pull through this after all. It was a lucky day for us when you decided to come to Hoth. Those men owe you their lives. Thank you. Those soldiers didn't run into any Imperials on the way back, did they? Sir, a distress flare was just fired from the power relay. That relay's the only reason we still have shields and heat. If the Tals defending it are being overrun... Orders, Lieutenant? I... don't know. There's no need to panic. I can answer the distress signal. Thank you. I don't know what we'd do if you weren't here. Please, go to the relay. If you can't hold off the Empire, send up a flare. We'll try to evacuate as much of the base as we can. to me. Uh, yes, and I would love to discuss that, but I, I was just on my way out. Uh, see, there's a, a, a disturbance in the force. Uh, oh, no. Are you really a Jedi? I don't usually kill Jedi. 
but I could make an exception. I... I am a Jedi. Or was. You know, a Padawan. But I, I can see the Force. I just can't use it. They threw me out when I got caught with a cheat sheet for the Jedi Code. I didn't have any skills, anywhere to go. Get to the blasted point. I ended up working for the White Maw. They, they dragged me here. They gave me to Shai Tenna, a weak way, one of their rising stars. He sent me for the censors. This is starting to look really not good for you. I don't want to serve them, really. I've tried to escape, but no one cares that I used to be a Jedi. The White Maw would as soon kill me as keep feeding me. If I don't bring those censors, I'm Wampa Bait. Please, let me live. I, I, I know things about the White Maw. I, I can help you. Quit whining. You're giving fake Jedi a bad name. You're the real deal, you know? Most people would let this little kind of misunderstanding really get under their skin. I'll stop. Use those sensors to get in. That part wasn't a lie. I, I can set up a meet. I'll go tell Chai Tenna you're coming, and uh, send you the coordinates. You won't regret this. When they saw the distress flare, Arc Base thought you were about to be slaughtered. Worked. When I got a transmission from the Talls, I, I thought it might have been a fluke. This is fantastic. Lieutenant, we're receiving messages on all channels. Crash Outpost is reporting in now. We're not alone out here anymore. Oh, this is going to be fabulous for morale. With communications back online, you should be able to call for backup. Or at least new orders. Sir, I've picked up an urgent transmission from the Crescent Canyon facility. Putting it through now. Sounds like you could use a professional. 
Those people have been kicked around by everyone who's come here. The Ordolans were the first people on Hoth. They came here as colonists. Their facility at Crescent Canyon has the best cold weather technology on Hoth. Technology that's now in Imperial hands. All right, what's the next step? Try to reach Supervisor Aldo. He's in charge of the facility. Contact me once you've found him. Good luck. The Republic has left you alone to die, frozen in the Outer Rim. Surrender, and the Empire will get you back to the core. The Republic has left you alone to die, frozen in the Outer Rim. Surrender, and the Empire will get you back to the core. Got out of picture. for the Empire. The Republic anarchists have been utterly crushed. Finally, peace can come to the colonists of Hoth. Don't be afraid. I'm not with the Empire. I came to help you. Those who report Republic sympathizers will be rewarded. Those who harbor the anarchists in our midst will be punished. Which would you rather be? I didn't know there was some kind of time limit on daring rescues. The Republic stole this planet from your people. 
The Empire will give it back to you, if you only let us. When did you tell him this? Maybe we can still stop him if we hurry. You're all alone out here. The Senate doesn't care what happens to the Outer Rim. Surrender, and you can leave Hoth alive. Go, but the Empire hasn't won yet. There's still time to save your people if you're willing to try. Victory for the Empire. The Republic anarchists have been utterly crushed. Finally, a peace can come to the colonists Lieutenant, of Hoth. You better get out of there. You're sitting on top of a gas mine, and the Empire's about to blow it up. What? Are you serious? I'll send everyone who can hold a blaster to your position. Try to buy him some time. If this doesn't work, it's gonna get very hot, very fast over there. Understood. And thanks. We have a lot of wounded in Colto tanks. We need more time. Head into the mines and try to stop them from igniting the gas. We'll prepare for the worst. Good luck. Victory for the Empire. The Republic anarchists have been utterly crushed. Finally, a peace can come to the colonists of Hoth. There. Better? Republic has left you alone to die, frozen in the outer rim. Surrender, and the Empire will get you back to the core.
Thank goodness I got to you in time. You're walking into a trap. The Ordolans have betrayed us. You were at Auric Base, weren't you? How'd you get here ahead of me? The, uh, Lieutenant sent me here right after you left. We intercepted a transmission from Supervisor Aldo to Coral Torrin, telling him you were on your way. You overheard this right after I left? As in, before I even got to Crescent Canyon? Uh, well, I was hoping you'd cooperate, but I guess we'll do this the other way. There. Better? Don't kill me! You've got to understand! I had no choice! You'll face a court-martial for what you've done. The Republic is looking for some prototype that crashed here. The thing probably burned up in the atmosphere. We're never going to find it. With the Republic, the only way I leave Hoth is in a body bag. The Empire offered to ship me back to the core. Did the Empire's offer specify you'd be alive? It was more of a chance than what the Republic was offering me. What... what happens to me now? I'll have someone come get you. Wait, you're... Lieutenant, you might want to keep a closer eye on your men. I've got Private Falk here. Falk? What the... There's a strike team on its way. That's another one I owe you, I guess. Thanks. You're leaving me on Hoth? Couldn't you just shoot me? That's far enough. You must know by now that no backup is coming. You're all alone down here. Surrender your weapons and I'll see that you're returned to Republic space. You won't last two seconds against me. You are no doubt very resourceful to have survived this long, Spacer. But the odds are against you. Surely you understand that this conflict is pointless? Even if you save the base, those men will die here. One lost ship is worth more to the Republic than all the soldiers on this planet. They will never leave Hoth alive. You realize you're a dead man, right? Very well then. I'll make this quick and painless. was a mother of a fight. I can't believe we stopped them in time. Tell me nothing else is about to go wrong. Please? The area's secure. Maybe you should let the lieutenant know the base isn't about to explode.
Welcome back. I can't thank you enough for this. We've got Private Falk in custody now. He'll be under guard until his court-martial. I still can't believe it. I just finished my report to Republic Command. General Ando wanted to speak with you when you returned. Why would General Ando want to talk to me? The base wouldn't even be standing if it weren't for you. I think he just wants to thank you. Just the moment. Lieutenant Laskin to Republic Command. General, do you read me? This is Ando. And you must be the spacer that Lieutenant Laskin has been telling me about. On behalf of the entire Republic, I commend you. Your actions have saved countless lives. Not only on Hoth, but throughout the galaxy. Is there anything you'd like to say on this occasion? The Lieutenant held this place together through the worst possible circumstances. He deserves a promotion. Well, that's good advice. Lieutenant Laskin, you are hereby granted the rank of Captain, effective immediately. Keep up the good work. Thank you, sir. I, I won't let you down. I hope to see you again. We could certainly use more people like you. Good luck out there. Ando out. Reminder, mechanized travel is for official business only. This is a surprise. You've got good timing. Normally I wouldn't expect anyone to come to this outpost, let alone a spacer. But we just got a break that could make this the hottest spot on Hoth. We got a message from one of the Chiss. Finally get that dinner invitation? Here, I'll let the transmission speak for itself. Republic Outpost, do you copy? I'm under heavy fire and I haven't got much time. I've stolen a data disk of time-sensitive information from Imperial Intelligence. I'm offering this to you in exchange for Sanctuary. The Empire is hunting me. I don't know how long I can hold out. Send help, and I'll give you whatever you want. I got a bad feeling about this. So do I. But if it's true, we haven't got much time before he and his data disk are gone. If we're going to act, we have to act fast. If he's telling the truth, it's too great an opportunity to pass up. I'm relieved to hear you say that. I don't have anyone who could pull this off. You're our best hope. The signal came from a crashed dropship not far from here. Be careful. Bring the Chiss back if you can. But if it does look like a trap, get out.
Turns out the blue guy was telling the truth. The Empire killed him. I found the data disk, at least. It's just as well. I'm not sure the men really wanted a Chiss hanging around here. The data disk is the critical thing. Let's get a look at it. Lieutenant, we need this decrypted. Yes, sir. This is from Imperial Intelligence. It looks like it's a strategic assessment of the Ortolan Geothermal Power Station. Maps, avenues of attack. The Geothermal Station is currently held by the White Maw. If the Empire takes it from them, we're in trouble. Who or what are the White Maw? Pirates. Hoth is crawling with them. They took the Geothermal Station from the Ortolan colonists who built it. Capturing the Power Station would give the Empire a completely self-sufficient fortified base on our doorstep. They'd be able to launch attacks from there with impunity. We'd never drive them out. What do you suggest we do to stop them? We don't have the manpower to defend that power station. Once you leave, the Empire could just take it. There's only one thing to do. Destroy it before they get there. Take these remote charges. Time for a little mayhem. It's not ideal, but we can't let the power station fall into Imperial hands. You underestimate her intelligence, my love. No mere woman could presume to try matching the achievements of the great Shaitena. 
kawaji oto takoga hota no pisto bambaula. You're the most famous Hothian weakway pirate I've ever heard of. Your reputation is equal to your greatness, my love and lord. Is hapoda nopa chunki faguta ji oto vokise. Yeho lokota chobad i kapso ndalae. Why do I feel like it won't be this easy? Me bonua twipe dite bok bakthra onawanga. Jiliska chenanga. My love and lord has a rival, a Davaronian named Kandhar. Jitanka iliska chenanga, bumpa kambakni. Kandhar has taken favor away from my love and lord, so to gain his help, you must eliminate the threat from Kandhar first. I'm not going to kill a man in cold blood. Nakma noya chaski noe, kuchuso yo mata chisoya. Yasado ponyo liz die oto se gata domuti. Runda kavaki o topa bubanda baka, murishaneta. That drooling idiot knows nothing about Kandhar or what he's asking you to take on. Kandhar got those droids to his alliance with the Empire. He's planning to put his whole gang to work for them in return for help ousting the Gendai. What happened to my love and lord? I've been a slave for seven years. I've learned what he wants me to say, but that doesn't mean I've forgotten how to listen. The pirates here like being independent. If you expose this deal, Kandar's own men will tear him apart. There's a secret tunnel in the mines nearby. It leads to the spot where Kandar meets his Imperial supplier. Hide inside long enough. You should be able to catch him in the act. Kill him, or expose him as you like.
Of all the power stations I've seen on Hoth, this is certainly the best. At least you have your freedom. Go. Start over somewhere else. The Imperial Army will be here any second. You might want to take cover before they get here. I'm sure Major Vincent will be glad to hear it.
came from. Better? And her. The Void Wolf agrees to the terms of your deal. It will send the promised payment as soon as you secure your portion of the arrangement. Ya is smoked up. This is about to get real ugly for you. Kill this intruder! Ma king salikikava dumpa stupa! How willing are you to die to protect Imperial secrets? Ki haso do punyo! I sure wouldn't want to risk my life defending some Imperial lackey. Uh, I want to hear more of this. Why are we meeting with this Imperial scum? He's gonna turn you all into slaves so we can take over the White Maw. Kikuna mo! Uban chone alipa! Istin goto! Pampawula ji ota kakoga huta nupisto! You turncoat son of a hut! Silence her! Control your men. The Void Wolf does not accept such weakness. I'm not working for any Imperials. Yeah, blast the Void Wolf. We're free men. We're the White Maw. I guess a few of us had suspicions, but I'm glad you took out that swine before he could sell us all out to the Void Wolf. I'm guessing it wasn't just chance that you were waiting here. Shaitana said this is my initiation into the White Maw. You come from him, I just wanted to give you a warning. Kind of a thank you. It's good to know the weaknesses of your enemies and your allies. It saves time sorting out who's who. Look, you want into the White Maw, Shaitana is absolutely the best way. 
but he's an ice-hearted, backstabbing, miserable son of a hut. Doesn't trust anyone. Kandhar's men sent for him before. He's got a personal shield generator, makes him basically untouchable. So did Kandhar just fail, or did you learn anything useful? Kandhar was going to try an ion grenade next. Figured the man's got shields, fight him like a droid. I don't want to cause trouble, just keep it in mind. If it saves your life, remember who told you. Kanhar is dead. Now tell Shai Tenna to get me into the White Maw. Fantastic. Now we won't be handed off to the Imperials like unwanted puppies. Sadly, it also means a chance of my love and lord getting a blaster bolt between the eyes just dropped to nil. 
Let me tell you, I've killed better boyfriends. That's the best offer I've had in seven years. I wish I could take you up on it. But if you need something here, I know more about the White Maw than Shai Tenna. I can help you. You'll bring me before the council? Get me into the White Maw? Chiliska Chananga, Waning Chikospa, Inigo Dade. Yasado Ponyo is the water, say Gata Domuti, Blasto. Chi Dai Wanawanga. Oh, my heart almost stopped when I heard what happened. I had no idea. I mean, I knew the guy was sleazy, kind of bloodthirsty, and not all that hygienic. But it turns out Shai Ten is here under orders of some big-shot gangster, Rogan the Butcher. He's trying to bring the whole White Maw into Rogan's fold. If Kanhar and Rogan both work for the Void Wolf, why'd Shai Tenna want him axed? The Void Wolf? I never heard him linked with Rogan. Look. All I know is the minute Shai Ten had dumped you, his men went on a killing spree. He's taken out half the leaders of the White Maw, and he's not slowing down. Whatever you're after, you'd better get it. And fast! The Republic wants whatever the White Maw is using to get around their censors. Oh, I'll bet. That kind of secret brings a fat payday, no? I can help. When Shai Tenna started heads rolling, they moved the cloaker to an underground base for security. I don't suppose it's somewhere convenient, like between Shai Tenna's ribs. Ha! I like your sense of humor, <laughs> and I bet not everyone says that. The base is nearby, through some rough territory. I'll run ahead, distract the guards. There's a back way in, with only automated security. You should be able to handle it. Think of this as my way to say, I'm sorry.
Our sensors didn't pick up any explosions. Did something go wrong? I chose to stay and fight the Imperial Army. You fought the Imperial Army? On your own? Are you serious? Remind me never to cross a spacer. Thank you. You've probably just saved the lives of half the soldiers on Hoth. If everything here is secure, Major, I'm probably needed elsewhere. There are a lot of people on Hoth who could probably use your help. Listen, I know this is asking a lot, but we've lost contact with Lieutenant Kirill at Santh Outpost. I don't know what's happened there, but I suspect they're in trouble. Mechanized travel is for official business only. conferred with every man in the platoon. Even if we sent everyone we have, we couldn't strike the Brotherhood effectively. Then you see my point. A combined operation might have a chance. You didn't say you had visitors. What are you doing here? We haven't seen a new face in weeks. How did you make it past the Hailstorm Raiders? I have no idea who you're talking about. Then you are lucky not to have encountered them in the passes. The Brotherhood are white moor pirates, the worst of the lot. They are savages, frankly. Cultists and marauders from some other ice planet that came to Hoth to test their limits. They hunt and murder those who cannot survive in the cold as they do. Republican Imperials alike. What else do you know? The Brotherhood don't dare attack us in our outposts, but they're devastating to anyone out on the ice. That means our supply convoys are constantly being intercepted. It won't be long before they starve us out. Captain Biron came with an offer, that we join forces long enough to defeat the Brotherhood. I don't like it, but I gather neither of you do either. What's our plan? What we need is for someone to bait a trap. If we fire a distress flare out on the ice, the Brotherhood will come running to attack. When that happens, my squad can surround them and wipe them out. All the bait would need to do is last until they arrive. It feels a little like pushing me overboard and saying all I have to do is swim. I hadn't thought of you volunteering, but we welcome the help. Have no fear. My men are eager for payback. When the Brotherhood comes, the Empire will be hot on their heels. Then it's agreed. Here's the distress flare and directions. Find a good, vulnerable-looking spot in the snow. Good luck out there. The Brotherhood knows that ice better than their own backsides. Thank <laughs> you. 
There's more where this came from. picture. picture.
better? Yankee Fargo da Giopo da Giotto Vokise. No, this isn't the way it. Captain, please, for the love of all that is good and righteous, help me. If Shaitana wants you to fight someone, fight me. Yomata G. Purwatupi. Unke da Bola. You saved my life. Shaitena was going to kill me. I... First things first. There are Gand bounty hunters waiting in the next room, courtesy of Rogan the Butcher. Apparently, it was personal. How many? How good? The bounty hunters rigged this whole place with that poisonous sludge they breathe. As soon as that door opens, that stuff is going to pour in here. If you don't want to drop dead before a shot hits you, forget the Gand. Go past them into the room and target the gas valves. This showing up and knowing exactly what I need is getting annoying. Look out! You've got a minute, Captain. I've got something on my mind. That's twice now. The saving my life. And I meant it before about not lying, so... Just give me a second. This is new ground for me. I work for Rogan. There, I said it. 
The whole reason he sent me to Hoth was to kill you, and... I don't want to do it anymore. You work for the man who's chased me across six different planets, and you don't want to do it anymore? I... I had no idea what you were really like. The Jedi Order. It's all black and white. Like, why try if I've already turned my back on the light? I ended up in Hawk to Rogan. He basically made me shy a slave. Told him to use me how he wanted. You did know they don't call him Rogan the cuddly defender of orphan Jedi, right? Hey, I thought the Butcher meant the guy couldn't be beat. Until I met you. You sweet-talked Alalia. Saved me. Turned Kandar's men against him. Rogan doesn't inspire half the loyalty you do. Let me make this up to you. I can get you to the Cloaker. No tricks, no traps. Where is the Cloaker? And what hoops do I have to jump through to get it? The White Maw's base is in one of the Republic's downed ships. Lots of guards. No visitors. I'll meet you there. We can work together to get past the guards and find the Cloaker. Though you might be surprised when you meet him. You did it. I haven't seen that many dead Brotherhood since we first came to the planet. Agreed. It was efficacious. I'll assume that was the Imperial equivalent of enthusiasm, Captain. It was. My scouts are in pursuit of the fleeing Brotherhood now. We'll see what they find. Now is not the time to underestimate them. My thoughts exactly. Snow Raptor, this is Hatchling. Come in, Snow Raptor. Go ahead, Hatchling. We spotted the remainder of the enemy force entering the Ice Fortress. Coordinates attached. If the remainder of their force is grouping at the Ice Fortress, they've been badly hurt. It's time to finish them. Captain's right. We're not gonna get this chance again. I'm not giving this group a centimeter of purchase. They're all going down. All right. Our priority target is Master Sav. A cult without its beloved leader is a beast without its head. Sav is a legend among the Brotherhood. We stranded him in the snow once, and left him for dead in Wampa country. He strangled one with a torn-torn femur, and skinned it with his own claws. He showed up in the Ice Fortress weeks later, quite alive. Getting rid of him sounds like a plan. We'll need you to spearhead the team, eliminating Master Sav. Others will secure the turrets and the perimeter. The Ice Fortress will be swarming with Brotherhood. We'll have the teams meet up again in the audience hall. Be warned, the hall is a defensible area. They'll move the big guns there once they know we're attacking. With all of us coming down on them, they're in for some bad times. Undoubtedly. Meet with Sergeants Cacho and Enlicker inside the fortress. Their men will reinforce you as you push to the audience hall. Go quickly. Let's not give them time to get back on their feet.
That ought to fix you. Sergeant Enlicker reporting in, sir. We've received little resistance so far. Sergeant Cacho reporting in, sir. You got here just in time for the fighting. These here are your unit. Straight on to the audience chamber. We'll fan out to intercept reinforcements. Time to show these nuts the nutcracker. Right. Taking point. Sir, now that they're gone, do you seriously expect them to be allies? Is there something I should be aware of? I know two things. The first is, if an Imperial wants something, you better not let him have it. Second is, Captain Biron's commanding this outfit. I used to hear about him all the time, back when they had me captured. Yep, you're looking at a veteran here. They used to say Biron was masterful at the ambush. Give me all the details. Think about it. Where'd he learn to surround an enemy force? From hunting the Republic, that's how and he's ready to do it again. The safe thing to do is, as soon as the Brotherhood is broken, take down Biron's men and grab him as a prisoner. It wouldn't take much. He's back at the base alone, and this lot will fold if we pull it on them surprise-like. Let me get back to you. Don't think too long. I'm gonna get ready. You just give me the signal when you need me. I'll go keep an eye on that sergeant. You take the boys here.
<laughs> Isn't this a surprise? The Republic and Imperials all bound together. What's wrong? Getting cold? Need to share body heat? I bet you say that to all the heroic spacers. Your humor masks fear. Fear that one day, people will realize they need neither Empire nor Republic. And your death is one more step on the road to pure liberation. That's the room, gentlemen. Take the turrets and secure the perimeter. All units, find an Imperial. Reinforce their positions with small arms. Move out. This is the time. Don't let them dig in. There's no need to escalate this. Escalate? They're gonna have a clear field of fire on us. Catch out. I've just received word from Captain Biron. He's got new orders. You'll find I'm quite ready for them, Imperial. He said to clear out the fortress once it's secured. It's too large for us to hold. Is something wrong? He thought he saw another pirate. False alarm. Oh uh, yeah. I guess things are all fight. Uh, all right. Everything's fine. I'm never hearing the end of this. Is there anything I can do? Uh, tell your captain that he's dead on about the fortress size. We'll be out of here as soon as all the rooms are searched. I heard about the situation over the comm. Master Sav is dead and half the Brotherhood tried to flee by jumping off the cliff. A well-executed plan. Of course, the irony is that with the Brotherhood gone, we'll be free to focus our tactics on one another. What would you suggest, Lieutenant? 24-hour truce as we return to our outposts? I could grant that when it involves my men. I cannot, of course, speak for others. What do you think? If you ever need to defect, you know who to call. A fine compliment. 
But after today's negotiations, I will likely be watched carefully. Yes, you risk much by coming here, Captain. If only more Imperials were like you. Be careful what you wish for, Lieutenant. Well, the day's not over yet, and already it brought about the end of the Hailstorm Brotherhood. There's a bigger war out there on the ice, and for once, the Imperials aren't the worst of it. Just point me to where I can help. I'm getting used to the cold. Admiral Revald commands the Republic fleet on Hoth. From the surface, no less. He's fighting tooth and nail with the White Maw leaders every day. If you can do for him what you did for us, the White Maw could be a thing of the past, and we would all sleep easier. Mechanized travel is for official business only. Good. I was hoping we'd get someone with real guts. I'm Admiral Revald. The Zabrak with the sunny disposition is my chief engineer, Aram. Welcome to the best place on Hoth. What's happening now? I don't know how much you've seen of the Republic presence on this snowball, but this is what it's all about. This isn't just a battle for Hoth. We went out here, and we've got the whole war with the Empire in the bag. Give me all the details. Spread across that ice field is what's left of one of our capital ships. She was carrying a top secret weapon prototype. The Null Cannon. It can fry all the machinery on a starship without giving the crew so much as a hangnail. With that weapon in our hands, we can push the Empire back to the unknown regions. What's my role in all this? We found the wreckage. Trouble is, pirates got there first, snatched up several pieces of our prototype, striking from a hidden base. We've deployed the Tals and the infantry. They're taking heavy losses out there, and we're not any closer to getting the Null Cannon. We can't allow these thieving scum to leave Hoth with a weapon that can take out any starship in the galaxy. Got it. Don't even need to write it down. Sensors detect life forms in the nearby wreckage. The pirates may be making a grab for pieces of the Null Cannon's primary power core. Keep an eye out for anything that will help us track the scum back to their lair. And contact me once all the fragments of the power core are secure. Go out there and bust some heads.
care. Better? Better?
better? your power core and a data pad with the location of the pirate hideout admiral anything else while i'm here you made quick work of that motherless space trash well done now our troops can take the fight to them i hate to interrupt but the data suggests these components were from the ancillary not main power core that's bad we still kept part of the null cannon out of the pirates hands it can't be catastrophic worst case scenario the pirates already have enough of the weapon to make it operational. You'll have to go into their base after it. Hit those sons of huts before they know we're coming. This sounds like something I could do for a few more credits. You'll get them. I'll see to it personally. That data pad puts the pirate base inside a huge system of ice caverns not far from here. Half the scum in the galaxy will be in there. Chief Engineer Aram and a squad of Tals will be on your heels. Once the pirates are down, Aram will secure the Null Cannon for transport. It'll be the mother of all fights. Good luck. There's more where this came from.
the tools and the talent. Look, neither of us wants to get killed today, right? So why don't we talk this over? Nobody else in this place has wanted to stop and chat. My crew is a bit, um, overeager at times. I'll speak to them about it, I assure you. The survivors, anyway. It so happens that I can give you what you came for without any more of that unpleasant killing business. You want the Republic super weapon? Look around you. This hangar is filled with copies of it. One for every ship in our fleet. How could that be? It just... It doesn't seem possible. The Republic doesn't have a monopoly on clever engineers. I propose a trade. You leave here with the weapons, and we leave here with our lives. That's fair, don't you think? Let's talk details. How do we know you'll hand over all the weapons? We can arrange for... Reinforcements have arrived! I see. Stalling until your people were ready to attack. We can still negotiate. No one has to get hurt. Don't bother lying. I'm not a fool. Don't think we'll go quietly. So that could have gone better. It couldn't have gone worse unless the planet exploded in a massive fireball. At least we'd be warm for that fraction of a second before we all died. I'd better call in and report. Aaron, that you? Heavy fire. It's a lot of interference. What status? Sir, we have the null cannon. But there's been a complication. What was the... Breaking up... Secure for immediate... Blast it! I can't get the signal back. Now what do we do? We were sent in here for the Null Cannon, and now we get it out of here. We were sent here for one Null Cannon. Singular. Not dozens. The forces we have can just about hold this hangar long enough to get the prototype out of here, but the rest of these copies... The other pirates will get here soon. And once they have a weapon that can disable a capital ship, how many innocent people will die? Let them send more pirates. We can handle them. We don't have a transport that can carry all of these copies off Hoth. We'd be defending this hangar for weeks, maybe months. The only way to keep the copies out of the pirates' hands is to overload the Null Cannon prototype. Wipe out everything in the hangar at once. The prototype would be fried, but I'd rather spend months fixing it than live knowing that even one of these copies was left behind. You're right. We can't let even one of these copies fall into the wrong hands. Stand back.
That should do it. I'll go ahead and get the transport ready. I'll see you back at camp. The tools and the talent. Better? Cloakers inside. 
just past those guards. They've got the key code to get in. But these guys aren't too bright. I mean, they're used to shy tennis barks. They jump. We should be able to put one over on them, no problem. I'll follow your lead. Naya Memgen Kalikam, Kikua Nam Karak Naya Memak. Shaitan is meeting me inside. I found a traitor in his ranks. Me? I'm no traitor. I told you, I, I can explain. I'm not defending myself to these morons. I want to talk to Shai Tenna. He'll understand it was all part of the plan. I'm going to keep. Then he won't come running when I do this. We're going to need to work on our routines. There. Better? Sleep, sleep, my little one. Sleep like the setting sun. Rest your eyes and rest your cries, and I will see you when you rise. Trick, oh, trick. Starship's gone, Mama. All gone. Hush, love. The starships are fine. Get some sleep. Well, if someone had to find out, I'm glad it was you. You've tracked down our secret weapon. What secret weapon? Meet the White Maw's technological marvel. A poor brain-damaged child with a connection to the Force. When he's scared, he uses it to hide himself. It's his own bad luck the effect is powerful enough to extend over an entire fleet. So, I've been shot by pirates, mauled by wampas, 
frozen vital body parts, and there is no cloaking device? What there is is a living child who suffers every minute he's with the White Maw. He can't use the Force consciously. It only works if he's terrified, so they torture him to keep him in a constant state of fear. Please, you have a good heart. I see you don't take slaves. Help us escape here. That boy could change the course of a galactic war. Or bring in serious credits. No! No war! It hurts! Trick! Don't even joke about that. Go tell your master you need a new kennel. I'm taking this one. Neombi butmalia bedwana nibobo. Che chopa guma. Gaptula do bota dwana winky slimo. Poya tuka changa. Shaitana's not cracking the whip, we've got no call to fight you. The White Maw cut us loose. And it looks like the lady isn't so keen on keeping up the attack. So where to next, boss? Where? Is he talking to me? Show me you can run this crew, I'll set up buyers all over the galaxy. For a small percentage. But... I don't know if I... Tabana mine ships on Bespin. We'll hit them like we planned. Ready the fleet. Blasters at the go. Say, that was easy. You heard the lady. Get marching! Conventional shields only. As long as I'm in charge, trick is off limits. I hear about anyone messing with the boy, you'll answer to me. I don't know how to thank you, Captain. I wasn't sure you'd really let me say that. Most people can't turn away from the kind of power Trick can give. Come on, boys. Let's show the captain what we can do. Captain, Lieutenant Cole is here. We, uh, met earlier. That business with the ship-to-ship -ship sensors? I spoke to Senator Dodonna and verified your assignment, but there's a few things to clear up before you leave. I'm here, what do you need? I'd rather talk in person. I'm taking over Major Pannon's duties, and I want to clear up his records. Just drop by his office before you head off planet, alright? It's a shame about the prototype. Blasted pirates must have mucked it up. Those pirates ruin everything, don't they? I won't lie, it's a setback. But working or not, the Null Cannon represents our best chance of beating the Imperials. You've hit the Empire where it hurts today. 
I've already contacted Republic Command. They know what you've done for us here, and I'll make sure the Senate knows it too. All I need now is my fee. Of course. The Republic pays her debts, and don't let anyone tell you different. We'll have the Null Cannon up and running in no time. You ought to come back and see her in action. It's going to take months, sir. Maybe a year. Engineers, always predicting the worst. Mark my words, we will have that Null Cannon shooting Imperials out of the sky before you know it. You did good work here. If I had a dozen men like you, this war would be over already. Greetings. You are cleared for the following travel routes. Thank you for coming. So, according to Major Pannon's files, you are attempting to acquire the White Maw's cloaking technology. Do you have anything to report? The pirates just have a member with a unique talent for the Force. That's... disconcerting. I'll request a Jedi advisor immediately. So, if you have no other business here, have a speedy journey. Hoth is no place for civilians. Funny running into you here. You're making a habit of saving my life. 
I mean, uh, thank you for freeing me from this place and that sadistic jerk and, uh, what do you say we make this a permanent arrangement? This is just a complicated scheme of Rogans to drive me to suicide, right? See? And I'm so glad you brought that up. I know Rogan, I can help you. I'll tell you what he might be planning, where his stashes are. It'll be mutually beneficial. I'll be like your apprentice, and you'll be like my guy I tell things to. I'll need a reason that outweighs the fact that you're a two-faced lying scum who tried to get me killed. See? It's exactly that kind of insightful understanding of the human condition I need to learn. We worked so well together. With the guards, I've got contacts, knowledge. I can hold my own with a blaster. And that's before you teach me. I'm a blank slate, Captain. There's just one thing, first. Ow! What was that for? Don't answer that. Does this mean I can come? Thank you so much. I can't wait to start learning from you. Just let me get my things, uh, and adjust the humidity in your ship. Uh, my skin is really sensitive to... Uh, uh, never mind. Thanks for letting me stay on with your crew, Captain. I plan to be a very generous queen to all my friends. I can see we're gonna get along just fine, your high exaltedness. Don't start with that. Risha will do fine. For now. Every captain needs a good first mate. Corso doesn't know what it takes to run a starship. But I do. Considering the light years you've been racking up, I suggest a hyperdrive overhaul and a sublight engine tune-up. Which do you want first? The last thing we need is to get stranded in deep space. Keep my hyperdrive hyper. Consider it done. I'll be indispensable before you know it. I will not be with you long. Do not begin to think I am yours. This is a convenient arrangement, that is all. Just humor me. It's two syllables. Hell. Oh. I know you can do it if you put your mind to it. Hello. Soon we'll be braiding each other's hair and talking about boys. Long hair is a detriment. It gives your enemies a handhold in a fight. I did not come to make small talk. I need somewhere to bunk while I track down my clan's enemies. I will travel with you as long as our interests coincide. <laughs> Guns don't get hurt if you sell them. You ever think about getting away from all this, Captain? The war, the huts, all of it? Ord's at peace now. It'd be a simpler life. I'd miss you. Well now, Captain. That's enough to keep me here a long, long time. So what's the report, Captain? I have to say I was expecting better results from you. What happened to the White Maw's cloaking technology? Let's just say it involved a beautiful slave girl, a backward child, and a weak way with a trapdoor fetish. I'm not even gonna ask. This arrangement seems to be serving you far better than it served me. Incoming call, Captain. That Darmus is on the other line. The Republic thanks you for your service. So good to get you in, Captain. I trust you're finished playing White Knight to poor little smugglers. If you're finding yourself at loose ends now, a business opportunity has presented itself that I thought might interest you. Tell me what's involved. It's not the kind of thing you talk about on an open line. Why don't you meet me at Port Nowhere, and we can discuss it. Perhaps over a game of Sabacc. <laughs> 